We're going to walk you through a t-test example real quick. In this problem, one group was given vitamin B12 and one group was not. And then they were measured when they ran a 50-yard dash. So here are their times before. First thing you got to do in this problem, like all problems, is write the null hypothesis, which basically states the same thing no matter where it's being used, is that there is no difference between the means of the groups. The alternative hypothesis states, yes, there was a difference between the groups. In fact, one was faster than the other. So we have to prove this using this t-test statistic formula. It's kind of kind of scary looking, but don't be alarmed. We're going to work through it. First thing you do with all your data is find the mean. There's the mean of group one, mean of group two. What you have to do with all your data next is find the standard deviation, which is the square of the variance. This is the variance formula here. So you find the variance of the first group, variance of the second group, and then you take the square root of both of them, and that gives you the standard deviation for the first group, standard deviation for the second group. Now that you have that data, you can plug it back into the formula. And then you're going to plug and chug. Be careful. Don't, you know, be careful of the square roots and the squaring and all that stuff on the bottom. And you're going to come up with a t-test statistic. That's the negative 3.0508. And for t-tests, you got to remember that they always take the absolute value of that. And... Please remember, this is not the probability. This is the test statistic that you look up the corresponding probability to this number. So when you look it up on your t-table, you go to your sixth row of degrees of freedom and then run your finger across those numbers. Two of them will bracket this number. One will be larger than this number. One will be smaller than that number. So you find those two numbers and then you run your fingers up to find out where the probability value of this t-test statistic lies from the sixth degree row of freedom. So our table says that it's right in there between 0 0.01 and 0 0.02, which is very small. It's a small p-value. So since our calculated p-value is less than the cutoff value or the critical value p-value, which is normally 0 0.05 unless otherwise stated, then we must reject the null hypothesis. And when we do reject the null hypothesis, we say that there was a significant difference between the groups. Another way of looking at it is the probability that the null hypothesis was true, that there was no difference. If you perform the same experiment a lot of times, you would get these results between one and two times per 100 experiments. That is not very encouraging if the original data is correct. And that is it. Now, was that so hard? I don't think so. MGZ, out.